welcome and good morning in today's class we will see how to measure phase current phase voltage and line voltage and we will see how to get its waveform how to get the waveform of phase voltage how to get the waveform of line voltage and phase current as you know that you are having three phases r y and b phase phase voltage to measure the three phase voltage you need three volt meters one end of the voltmeter is connected to plus and the other end of the voltmeter is connected to your reference one end is connected to Voltmeter one end is connected to plus, other end, other common negative end of the three voltmeter are connected to ground. This voltmeter will measure, will give you the phase voltage. Next thing is line voltage. Here the voltmeter is connected across first phase and second phase. This voltmeter is connected across this phase and second phase. Last voltmeter is connected across A phase and C phase. This voltmeter will give you phase voltage. This will give you line voltage. Next thing is phase current. For that, you need three ammeters. To measure the voltage, you need RMS blade.
next thing is scope you know that you are having three phase currents sir phase voltage three line voltage and three phase currents to measure that you need three input this is a max it will the input to your max is three input signal and output from a max is single input if you give three input it will give you a single waveform which will it is a the single waveform it is combination of these three now you can see that you are having only two input to add the next input double click it right click it and change the number of inputs to 3 now you need 3 max one for phase voltage 9 voltage another for phase current Now let us connect the corresponding input. This is A phase. This is B phase. And this is C phase. You have to connect before, before RMS. Because after RMS you will get the values will be root, mean and square. And hence you have to connect it before your RMS. A phase current, B phase current, and C phase current. Next line voltage. First line voltage, second line voltage, third line voltage. Now your output is 3. Instead of 9 output, you are having only 3 outputs. Now first let us give the phase voltage, phase current and line voltage. Okay, change the simulation time and assign some value. Now you can see that you are having all the waveforms are mingled. To separate it, go to settings. We have three waveforms, so separate it by three. Go to view, configuration parameter.
So you can see that this is your phase voltage, phase current, and line voltage. You can see that in uh, this is your R phase, Y phase, and B phase. This is our phase voltage. And for this R phase, the corresponding current current is here. Likewise, you are having a corresponding current for B phase and Y phase. This is your phase voltage. Thank you.